Assalamualaikum. Good morning, everyone. This is the continuation of the chapter which we were doing before experiments. We had completed till the point where, hoping to impress the lesson more deeply, Mrs. March gave Hannah the cook a holiday. So we know that Hannah is the cook of the family. Mrs. March, who is the uh, mother, has given the cook a holiday so that the girls will have to do the work and they will more realize more. how hard it is to take care of a family and to take care of a household so when they got up on the saturday morning there was no fire in the kitchen no breakfast in the dining room and no mother anywhere to be seen so it's saturday morning the girls woke up and when they woke up they saw that there is no fire in the kitchen means nothing was being cooked in the kitchen no breakfast in the dining room and no mother was to be seen anywhere means the mother was missing oh god what has happened cried jo in disappointment so jo was disappointed to see all the situations and she said oh god what has happened mag ran upstairs and soon came back so to uh, check where the mother is mag goes upstairs to the bedroom and sees and she soon comes back and she says this mother isn't sick mother is not sick only very tired bahut zyada thak gayi hai and she says she is going to stay in her room all day aur wo apne room mein pure din rahengi and let us do the best we can aur hame apni taraf se best efforts karne honge the best we can it's a very old thing for her to do <coughs> the girls she says it's a very old thing she doesn't act a bit like herself means she is acting out of order or out of character means she does not usually do this but right now she is but she says it has been a hard week for her so we must not grumble but take care of ourselves so the orders from the mother are that it has been a very hard week and she will not take any grumbling from the girls and, and no orders from the girls and they have to take care of themselves that's easy enough and i like the idea i'm longing for something to do added jo quickly so jo was excited and she says all right it's not that hard i am also longing to do something as i am bored so i will take care of the situation and i will find something to do they took hold of the work but soon realized that housekeeping was no joke there was plenty of food in the larder so excited as they were they quickly jumped into the work and they decided that this is the best thing to do they jumped into it but soon realized that it was not a joke ki koi mazak nahi hai housekeeping it's a difficult task there was plenty of food in the larder for them so it's a cupboard for storing food items uh, in every kitchen there is one so beth and amy sat at the table meg and joe got breakfast breakfast wondering as they did why servants ever talked about hard work so they have set the table now they are thinking why the workers complained that it is hard work when anybody else says that it's a hard it's hard work taking care of the household people normally think uh, it's rubbish it is not that hard it's just a simple work all you have to do is cook food and clean up a few things but in reality it is hard soon a tray was laid and taken up for mother so the food they made they put it into in a uh, tray and served to mother the boiled tea was very bitter the omelet was scorched and the biscuits were burnt so the tea they made was too bitter kadvi zyada thi omelet scorched scorched ka meaning hai burnt to omelet wo omelet was also burnt and the biscuits were also burnt but mrs march received with thanks and laughed heartily over it after joe was gone so mrs march did not say anything she did not complain to anybody she just accepted it said thanks but afterwards she laughed over how the food was not cooked properly down there were many complaints against the cook but downstairs was a different story girls started complaining about the whole uh, situation that the food is not good so they were complaining to meg and meg said never mind i'll get the dinner ready sorry meg did not say this jo said this never mind i will get the dinner ready said jo who knew even in reality who knew even less about cooking than meg so she was a worse cook than meg but she offered her help <coughs> and tomorrow she was going to be the uh, actually she was going to cook the dinner this offer was gladly accepted is offer ko acche se accept kiya gaya meg retired to the room so meg goes into her room jo with perfect faith in her own powers and to make the make up the quarrel invited immediately invited lori the boy next door so from the chapter dreams of the future we know that lori is the boy who lived next door to, the, to these girls so she invited him also so that there could be a certain situation where people will be a little light hearted and not take up uh, too much into the issue that mother is not cook- cooking 
you had better get mother's advice on cooking said meg once so she goes to mother uh, meg advised jo that you go and talk to mother and see what she says because you have to take some advice now the mother says get what you like and don't disturb me i'm going out to dinner and can't worry about things at home but mother gave a very uh, out of the order reply her reply was get what you like jo pasand hai wo kijiye and don't disturb me mujhe disturb mat karo i'm going out to dinner main dinner karne ke liye ja rahi hu and can't worry about things at home aur ghar pe jo cheeze hain inke bare mein pareshan nahi ho sakti said mrs march when jo spoke to her i never enjoyed housekeeping and i am going to take a vacation today and read write go visiting and amuse myself so she says ki i have not enjoyed housekeeping at all it's a very boring and a tedious task i am not going to do it anymore what i am going to do is i am going to take a vacation and i will during that vacation i will read i will write i will go visit places and i will amuse myself means i will treat myself to some good places the unusual sight of her mother busy mother rocking comfortably in the easy chair and reading early in the morning made jo feel as if some unnatural phenomenon had occurred so the sight of mother sitting and doing nothing was a very uh, peculiar sight for jo to accept because she would think that earthquake and tsunami and volcanic eruption or an eclipse is not that rare but watching her mother sit and doing nothing that is a much more rare sight so this was a very peculiar thing for her the unusual sight as it says feeling much harassed herself jo hurried into the parlor to find beth sobe so she goes to the parlor parlor is the living room so she goes to the living room and finds the another sister beth sobbing so she was crying over there it's my fault i forgot him there isn't a seed of food or a drop of water left oh pip oh pip how could i be so cruel to you so she says it is all my fault i have forgotten him ki mai i forgot him who did she forgot we will find out in a minute there isn't a seed of food khane ka ek bhi dana nahi hai or a drop of water not even a drop of water is there for him to drink oh pip so pip is the one who she forgot about how could i be so cruel to you she says how can i be so cruel to you cried beth taking the poor thing in her hands and trying to bring him back to life so she takes the bird into her hands and she tries to bring him back to life put him in the oven and maybe he will revive he will be warm and revive so she says take him in the oven put him in the oven she is saying to put him in the oven not because she wants to cook the bird but she wants the bird to have a little warm so that the bird may be revived so that it can come back to life if some hope is there said any hip hopefully he has been starved and he shan't be baked now he is dead but beth says no 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 he has been starved isko ye bhook ki wajah se mara hai and oven mein dal ke we cannot bake him now he is dead and he is dead he shall be buried in the garden isko garden mein bury karna hai and i will never have another bird so he says she says ki main kabhi bhi koi bhi bird nahi leke aaungi never my pip for i am too bad to own one that i am not a very good person to own a bird murmured beth so beth says this sitting on the floor with her pet folded in her hands now don't cry now don't cry bethy it's a pity but nothing goes right this week so she says it's a very bad situation but nothing is going right this week and pip had the worst of the experiment so the experiment has resulted very badly for the bird whose name is pip lay him in my box and after the dinner party we will have a nice little funeral we will have a nice little funeral said jo so jo says that she would have a dinner party and afterwards they will have a funeral for the bird all right we will leave the chapter here and we will continue in the next class